Hi. Um, does every video have that same hi? Yeah. Hi. Yeah. Uh, so, which is a new concept we're learning today. It's called completing the square. The only reason that I would ever complete the square is if I couldn't factor something. So I look at a trinomial and I can't figure out what the parentheses are, and I come to the conclusion that it's not factorable. So, if I cannot factor a trinomial, I complete the square. And the square comes from that word, like the perfect square trinomials, those six problems that we just practiced. Okay, so completing the square deals with perfect square trinomials. The area of a box is x squared plus 6x plus 9. Oh, this is a perfect square trinomial. What is it? Two numbers that multiply to make 9 and add up to 6. 3 and 3. All day today, when I try and factor, it's going to be the same thing in both parentheses. So now this is the area of a box. Area is length times width. So length times width is going to be like the length would be x plus 3 and the width would be x plus 3. So is this a square or a rectangle? It's a square because isn't it true that if these two sides are congruent, then all four sides must be congruent. Opposite sides are congruent on a shape. Square. All sides congruent. Okay. In the six problems that we just did, we had to figure out what multiplied to make the last number and added to the middle number. Right now, I don't have the last number. My job, find the term that should be added to the expression. So I want to know what number should go after here. We call that the C. So what number, find C. What number should I put here to make it a perfect square trinomial? So I'm going to do what number added together makes 4? Because you know how the middle number is to add. What plus what? Same number. What plus what makes 4? 2. What does 2 times 2 make? We multiplied by that last term. We multiplied to get this one. And this 4 is my B, and we add to get the 4. That's factoring. We did that on 1 through 6. So 4. So basically what I did is I cut B in half, 4 divided by 2, and then I squared it, 4 times 4, or 2 times 2. Okay, so this is on your lower left-hand corner. You see that? A, B, C, D, E, F, G? Um, B, X squared plus 14X. Look at the 14. That's my B. What two numbers add up to make 14? It has to be the same number. 7 and 7. So, now what's 7 times 7? So I'm looking for those numbers. What two numbers make the 14? Oh, 7 plus 7. And then remember how the last term I have to multiply? So what's 7 times 7? 49. 49 is going to be the number that makes this a perfect square trinomial. And if you look back at A, I would get x plus 2, x plus 2. That's how you factor it. Or x plus 2 squared. On part B, the 7 and the 7 make 14, and they also make 49. X plus 7, right? X plus 7. 
or x plus 7 squared. Let's do C. What two numbers add up to make 8? They're the same number, though. 4 and 4. Negative 4 and negative 4. So, multiply negative 4 times negative 4. So if you want to know how I'm doing this, I'm cutting the b in half and I'm squaring it. Negative 4 squared. Negative 4 times negative 4. You cut the 8 in half and then you square it. Negative 4 times negative 4 is 16. Wait, yeah. Negative 4 times negative 4 is 16. That's a perfect square trinomial. I want to write the, the factored form. What is it? Can you wait until I actually teach the, like, the really important part? It's really important coming up. You guys, what's the parentheses? Factor it. And I want to do it like squared. I don't want to write it twice anymore. That's a lot of work for me. X minus 4. So I factored this perfect square trinomial, and there it is. 10. Cut 10 in half. What two numbers make 10? 5 and 5. What's 5 times 5? So it's 10 divided by 2 squared. Twenty-five. What's the factored form of this perfect square trinomial? X plus five squared. Are you guys catching on to this pattern? I'm catching on that I made a typo on that ABCDEFG. Sorry. All right. Oh, here it is. E. Okay. X squared minus 2X. What's 2 cut in half? 1. Negative 2 cut in half and squared. I could just do it in my head, though. And 1 times 1 is 1. What's the factored form of this perfect square trinomial? What? It has an X and it has a 1. What's the sign? Good. Jump to F, please. Um, 16. What's 16 cut in half? Eight. So what's eight times eight? That's the number I add to the end. That's my C. 64. You guys getting the hang of this? Yeah. If you're not, I suggest you pay more attention. I'm doing seven of the same type of problem. 64 comes from eight times eight. But what's the signage? Because I need them to add to make negative 16. Is it plus or minus? Minus. minus. Seven. Well, uh, I can't cut seven in half. It's not very easy. But I can still do the B divided by two squared, like I've been modeling. That would be 49. Seven squared is 49. Two squared is four. So that's my, that's my C, 49 over four. So you cut the B in half, I cut 7 in half, and I squared it. That's what I did all these. Cut 10 in half, squared it. But when I factor this and make it into my parentheses, I have to put the 7 halves. So it's weird when it's an odd number in the middle, a 7. Everything else has been even, 16, 2, 10, 8. But it's not impossible. It's just a little more difficult.
Okay, now we're actually getting in to what com completing the square is. So I have steps one through four written on one through five. We are going to combine squaring both sides like we did yesterday and this, having a trinomial and having factors. So here we go. We'll go slow through them. Step one, move C to the right. That's going to be me. How do I get 24 over? How do I get it over? How do I move the minus 24 over? Add 24. Add 24. Okay, move C to the right, step one. There's no more 24. All right, this is what we just practiced, A through G. What number, what's half of 10, and then square it? What number do I need to put here to make a perfect square trinomial. 10 is in the middle. What two numbers add up to 10? Five. five and five. And so what's five times five? So I did, and you do 10 cut in half squared. And whatever I do to the left side, I have to do it to the right side. But you guys just said it was 5. So, x squared plus 10x plus, now do this red, 10 cut in half, 5 squared, 25. Whatever I do to one side, I have to do to the other side. It's called the property of equality. So now I'm doing 24 plus 25 on my right. So, step one, get that C over. Step two, make it into a perfect square trinomial, and then you have to add the same number to both sides, 25, 25. Factor this. It's the same thing, parentheses, twice in a row. What is it? What two numbers multiply to make 25 and add up to 10? Five. five and five. So there's my factored form. Factor the left side. I did. Um, then I do 24 plus 25. 49. Now this is homework from Thursday. What you took the quiz on. How do I get rid of this two? What'd you do on the quiz? Square root both sides. So, x plus five equals plus or minus seven. Right? This is just like homework last night. Solve for x. Get, get x alone. Get rid of that 5. Move the 5 over. And it has a, a rule. It has to go in front. You cannot put the, the 5 after the 7. So the negative 5 is going to go first. The plus or minus sign stays in the middle, and the 7 would be after it. I can actually do this math. I need to do this math. Negative 5 plus 7. Negative 5 plus 7. Negative 5 minus 7. You have to do both. X equals 2. X equals negative 12. 
Those are my two answers. I also wrote the steps up here on the board. So, I changed the numbering a little bit, you guys. But it shouldn't be that difficult. All right. Step number one, move C to the other side. Oh, it's already there. Awesome. Five is already there. It's already done for me. Please write it and leave space right here because this is where I need to put my next number. What two numbers add up to four? Two and two. So I'm basically going like four divided by two. Or you could just do it in your head. You said it was two. So I need to do two times two. Two squared, four. Plus four. Whatever I do to the left, I do to the right. Okay. What is the factored form of x squared plus 4x plus 4? x. This all should be easy. Yeah. 5 plus 4 is? Nine. Are you all confident on getting from here to here? This is really important. Can you do this to this? Everybody look at the board. Can you go from here to there? Factoring. All right. What's the next step? It's on the board. Square root both sides, just like we did on the quiz. X plus two equals now the square, the square is gone, plus or minus three. Solve for x. Remember the two has to be in front. The number that you move over has to stay in front. Negative two plus or minus three. You can't put it at the end. So, get my two answers, negative 2 plus 3, and x equals negative 2 minus 3. x equals 1, x equals negative 5. I'm doing two more. I'm doing number four and seven. I'm gonna do five and six the next day. Seven's already moved over, yay. X squared plus six X, leave a big space, equals seven. I leave a big space because I'm going to cut six and a half and square it. What two numbers add up to six? Three plus three. Three is the number. So I square it. Six cut in half squared. Three squared. Nine. That's what I'm adding to both sides. X squared plus six X plus nine. What's the factored form? X plus two, three. 
three. Good. Seven plus nine is 16. Now this is back to what we did before. Square root both sides. So do it. Square root both sides. X plus 3 equals plus or minus, what's the square root of 16? Four. Okay. All right. Move the three over. It goes in front of the plus or minus four. Negative three plus or minus four. And I have to make my two answers. X equals negative three plus four. X equals negative three minus four. And then you just solve. Negative three plus four is Negative 3 minus 4 is negative 7. The only reason I wanted to do number 7 with you also is because C is not moved over. I did it on 3 and 4. It was already like moved over for you. But on number 7, it's not. So here we go, number 7. Move C to the right-hand side. x squared plus 4x equals 1. What's half of 4 squared? What two numbers make 4? So, it's like 4 divided by 2 squared. 2 squared, 4. Add four to both sides. Whatever you do to the left, you have to do to the right. What's the factored form of x squared plus four x plus four? Good, x plus two. How do I slowly get x alone? How do I get rid of the squared? Square root both sides. This is good because it's not perfect. x plus 2 equals plus or minus radical 5. I can't do a thing with radical 5. But I still need to move over the 2. All right, move over that two. Okay, subtract two, and it goes in front. Negative two plus or minus rad five. For the first time, I'm done. I can't. I can't solve this more because I can't do anything with a radical 5. I have to leave it a radical 5. My answer is just negative 2 plus or minus radical 5. If I had a decimal and I really felt like figuring it out, I could. But I'm very happy you're done at this point. Your problems are 1, 2, 3, and 4 on the next page, and that's your homework. Four problems. Okay? Just the first four. Completing the square, one through four. On the next page. Let me stop the video.